it mean to be the number one pick? Yeah. It means a lot to me. Uh, you know, set goals. You want to be one one as a kid and grow up dreaming of moments like this. So a lot of hard work that's gone into it. A lot of people contributing. So just super excited. At what point did this go from being a possibility to knowing that this was a reality? I knew like an hour ago. So what is that like with your family to be able to share that moment that you're really in? I shared it later on when I got like the double double, like 100%. <laughs> um, just seeing the emotion on their face is super special. I mean, wouldn't be here without the people in that row. So it means a lot to me. I hope it means a lot to them. What was what that uh, conversation like when the Pirates called you? Oof. And then who excited. was it? I mean, well, it was through my agent, and then I talked to uh, Ben Sherrington afterwards, after I got picked. Um, it, it fills you up when, like, somebody who's picking first considers you and even starts the conversation and then realizing how fired up they were about it and how excited they were and, you know, being the guy, like, it means a lot. How do the Pirates fit with your wish list of other teams you have? I want to go wherever they want to win, and yeah. they want to win really bad over there, so I'm excited to get, to get going. What do you like about the organization? Ooh, I mean, I went in for a workout, and immediately everybody there, just good people, clear as day. They want to, want to win, want to do everything they can for the organization, so I'm super excited to be a part of it. And what did you think about the city when you were in there? I liked it a lot. Yeah, yeah drove in with my girlfriend. Um, it was special. Ballpark's beautiful. I mean, the scenery outside, I mean, just kind of gets you super excited. As a kid, you dream of moments like that, so I mean, super excited. What's the scouting for you as a try to be I'm going to work as hard as I can every day, compete, try and make other people better, chase the best version of myself, and try and win. So. That's a pretty big secret to hold on to for a couple How does one do that? Uh, Smile, a little, a little anxious walking around. Were people asking you if you knew? No. Did you have to no I, I mean, my family's so great with that. Like, well, I didn't mean your family, but I meant like others. Were, were there talking about you? Uh, no, actually. I don't, I don't know if that's just them being extremely respectful. Yeah. Knowing that a lot's going on. And, I mean, people around me are amazing. I can't reiterate that enough, honestly. So That quote that you said, excuse me, nobody does anything special. I mean, that. I mean, the people around me my whole life, I mean, everybody's had such an impact. And, you know, I think back to all the sacrifices and things you've learned, picked up along the way, and hard lessons. I'm very thankful for the people in my life. I wouldn't be here without them. And given your sort of work ethic or, or what we've read about you, it seems like you're probably ready, excited for the routine of playing pro ball. Maybe describe your mentality, like going into that being your job. Being yeah, I'm just going to do everything I can every single day. So when I go to bed at night, I know that I've made all the decisions I can to be as ready as I can be to contribute and win and help the team every day. And I mean, as long as I do that, I feel like I'm doing the right thing. The last few weeks, there was a lot of speculation about how this could go at 1-1 with the Pirates. And a lot of names, a lot of mock drafts, as I'm sure you're aware. What was that like for you, just kind of the lead-up to this and, and the guessing game? Like, uh, well, the best advice I got was from my teammate, Reed Demers. And he talked to me a while before the draft, which I really appreciate. I mean, he just said, like, whatever team gets you is going to be super lucky. Don't get too high. Don't get too low. I mean, people make the wrong decision a lot of times, so just... Be excited, get get ready to get to work, and I don't know, move forward, I guess. Okay. It's kind of crazy. He gave you that advice. You're here. He's right over there. He's yeah. pitching the down. Oh, I wish I could have gone and seen it. <laughs> You're a little busy. I heard he did well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> did you talk to Walker at all? Huh? Neil Walker? No, I didn't. Did you know? yeah. As a hitter, what? You've had a steady improvement, but what was it that worked you felt like this year? Is there, is there anything that you were doing you feel like that you made an improvement? Not just you're stronger, you, you, you know, but that you were made an approach improvements, wing improvements, anything that really clicked? I think everything improved consistently. And like the stuff I do off the field, the steps I take before I ever get to the field, I think that's what really separated this year. But I mean, just steady improvement over time, I guess. Have the Pirates told you what's next? Yeah. 
Get uh, ready to go play. <laughs> but, uh, do you, I mean, have they laid out a timetable for you or anything like that? Uh, there was a like brief overview of just you know probably go down to Bradenton, get ready. I don't know if I'll go back to Pittsburgh, but sign and get ready to go play and contribute and help us get closer to winning. I mean, you've had a full season, but I'm guessing you're ready to go for a little while longer. Yeah. <laughs> and just to make sure, because I. Sorry, I didn't know your family, but that was your mom and dad that you hugged uh, right after this yes. lunch. And can I get their names? Chris and Andrea. Chris with a C? Yes. C H R I S. You talked about the sacrifices. And especially, your sacrifice all along the way, but especially when you're younger. I mean, that, that's when, you, before you can drive, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of traffic. There's a lot of. What does it mean to kind of, I mean, again, it's not a reward, because this is the goal. But what does it mean to know that all that work, that not just you did, but your family did into this? I wish I appreciated it more than, you know, you don't really get it as a kid, like the sacrifice your parents make. I hope that, I don't know, moving forward I can try and make it up to them because you can never really fully repay them for what they do. But, you know, everything they've done in their lives, they've sacrificed for their kids, my sister and my brother. I mean, just very thankful for them. Henry, go what do you think about it? Watching what he's doing. It's spectacular. It's good for the game. Good for him. Good for the Angels. I mean, something like that where you know, it's at the top of what he does on both sides of the ball is unbelievable. I can't even imagine something along the same scale as that, but he's, he's unbelievable and fun to watch. Thank you. Have you guys just get the name of your agent? Steve Bartholomew. Who were some favorite catchers you had growing up? Oh, I mean, I grew up in the generation of Yachty and Buster. I mean, those guys are unbelievable. Yeah. Like, not only the way they conduct themselves off the field, but I mean, every single year it seems like they get a little bit better, and you can never hear a bad word about the guys. So those guys. You talked a little bit about the Pirates situation. I covered the Pirates, so we're probably just saying a lot of each other, but. Um, you're aware of their building and needing a catcher and needing a guy. Like, what, what do you think about embracing like that, the role that you might slot into there? I'm ready to get to work, honestly. I, just, I don't really think too much about what their Big expectations. Yeah. I mean, I'm just going to do everything I can every day to get better and keep improving. So hopefully the sky's the limit, but just excited to get going. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you so